Hey guys, welcome to this video. Uh, in this one, I'll be talking about designing the scroll casing of a turbocharger. So let's get started. Again, as in my previous video, I'm using Autodesk Fusion 360 here. So the first thing I'm going to create is the cross section for the uh, pipe, which will form the scroll of the turbocharger. And the next thing is on a perpendicular plane, I'm going to create the path that the scroll has to follow. Once you have done those both, we create a sweep feature using the profile here and the path here. I've used a taper angle of 0.5, which reduces the cross section uh, over the entire sweep. All right? Here I've used a taper of uh, 0.5. Now, depending on the design, the taper value can differ, but uh, you can use that feature to actually reduce the cross section throughout the uh, scroll so once i've done that uh, now this is a solid pipe uh, what i'm going to do next is make it a hollow one by using sweep again but this time actually cutting through the whole thing let me show you a section so that you'll have a better understanding yeah so it looks something like this when you have a sectional view so once you've done that so the next thing you would want to do is create the uh, inlet for the turbocharger depending on i mean depends on whether you're talking about the exhaust end or the uh, inlet intake end so we're going to create an extension here so for which i'm going to use a plane an offset plane here from this uh, an offset plane here and once i've done that i'm going to create a sketch of the cross section that I want and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude that cross section to the to the extent of the plane to where I started making the whole thing you see I've extruded till here this is where I started making this scroll case so once I'm done with that the next thing I'm going to do is you see I've, I've joined these two features I've joined the extruded feature uh, to the original sweep feature that I had done. So what I need to do now is remove this part of the pipe Which you know is common here. So in this in fusion 360 all you have to do is select that feature and then click on delete and then it's gone So that part is gone and then the next thing I want to do is I want to create the hole over here for this section to pass Let me show you how cross section we will get a better understanding of it so here just get in view yes so you see this part of the pipe this needs to go so again select this surface and then just click on delete and it will be gone so once we are done with that we have the uh, scroll ready kind of so the next thing I want to do is I want to make space for the turbine, right? So I'm going to create a sketch of a circle here. This is this is the estimated size of the turbine, the area that I want. So I'm going to use that circle and I'm going to extrude cut the whole thing out. And once that is done, I need to create a casing, a cap for on both ends so for that i'm going to create a plane first where i think i need to make the cap once i've created that plane the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create the cross section for it and once uh, you see the highlighted sketch over here so that and once these both are done the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to extrude it here I've extruded it with the taper angle again so that it blends in along with the scroll. You see there's a taper angle here. The angle is about 5 degrees. So sorry 35 degrees. And once that is done, I'm going to mirror that about the mid plane to create this one to create the bottom cap. And once those both are done, I'm going to create a sketch to actually create the hole which will if you're talking about the exhaust side then you're talking about the uh, exit the outlet for the exhaust gases so 
we draw that sketch and then we create an extruded cut we cut it out once that is done we create a hole for the shaft and all on the back end and once that is done you just extrude another feature so what i've done here is i've extruded this entire thickness this thickness that you see this part i've extruded the entire thing to a certain extent to form the casing for the exhaust outlet so this in you know, few steps is a broad you know method of how you can create this cruel casing uh, i think the toughest part of all this is creating the varying cross section here from the uh, from where the uh, gas is from where the scroll starts and where it ends uh, the easiest way to do it is actually use the taper feature taper option and once you have done that uh, it's pretty straightforward Great. thank you for watching the video and if you have, if you haven't watched my uh, video on uh, designing the turbine for a turbocharger the link will be up on the screen you can watch that and if you like it please subscribe and do like and share thank you thanks for watching